Today's adventure begins down this nearly quarter mile long former driveway belonging to the Winterbourne Mansion, a Victorian era 5,000 square foot residence built on nine acres of lakefront property on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. It was originally built and used as a summer getaway for Enoch and Mary Totten, a wealthy couple whose fortune was inherited through Mary's uncle, Elias Howe, the creator of the modern lockstitch sewing machine. Almost immediately along our trek, there were signs we were on the right path, including the remnants of a post and rail style wooden fence that likely lined one side of the property, as well as this ominously placed rusted out child's bike. Built in the 1880s, the Winterborn was originally painted pink with a darker rose-colored trim. It has 12 rooms, a full-length attic, two cellars, and a cistern beneath the house that was fed by a system of hidden downspouts. Despite only being used as a summer getaway, under the Totten ownership the house was staffed year-round in order to tend to the large property, including several elaborate gardens containing rare plants imported from around the world. As socialites in the community, the Enoch's lifestyle, at least while at the Winterborn, involved frequent, large, formal parties and, from what I gather, seemed almost Gatsby-esque decades before the Roaring Twenties. Today, the house stands as barely even a skeleton of what it once was. The center portion of the back of the house has a massive multi-story hole knocked out of it, leaving the two remaining opposing halves of the house to begin to collapse in on each other. The original intent of this video was to explore the interior of the house, but after seeing the state of the back wall, as well as numerous holes in the floor of every room, and a recent rainstorm leaving the remaining wood flooring waterlogged, we decided to stick to the exterior. Several unfortunate events are said to have occurred here. All three of the Totten children contracted typhoid, the youngest of whom succumbed to the illness while at the house. 
Years later, one of the Totten's granddaughters had a freak accident sliding down the banister of the staircase and also passed away from her injuries. Little has been documented to support the claims. There are some who say these events have led to the house being haunted. sold the house in 1929 to another couple who raised their two sons here, one of whom inherited the house and continued living here until his death in 2004. Being unable to find a suitable buyer, the remaining family allowed the house to sit here abandoned. In addition to the general strangeness surrounding the various contents of the house being strewn around the yard, it's equally as confusing how old some of the items appear to be, given that the house was occupied until 2004. Winterbourne Mansion has been for sale off and on since 2004, originally listed at $2 million, but at last attempt for $900,000. The house was nominated for inclusion in the National Registry of Historic Places in 1979, but ultimately not approved. According to the nomination form, quote, significance of the house includes architectural, horticultural, transportation, and the history of famous men. The Tottens, although stricken with tragedy, portray the Victorian era of great wealth mixed with grace and charm. While some of that charm still clearly exists, the degree of neglect has resulted in the mansion becoming all but a lost cause.